Developing at noon, a first look at a brand new addition, Brightline unveiled its new train station at Orlando International Airport, marking a crucial part of its plans to link Orlando to Miami with high-speed rail. News 6's Lauren Cervantes is live now at Terminal C. Lauren's service looks to begin transportation this summer. That's right. These trains will start running this summer, although they haven't given the exact start date yet, but they have said that they will start selling tickets in May. Now, what all of this means is people will soon be able to take the train from Orlando to Miami. Brightline officials tell us with the completion of this station here at Orlando International Airport, they are at 90% completion for passengers to be able to hop on and head down the coast. Now, Brightline is currently running from Miami to Fort Lauderdale, Boca Raton, and West Palm Beach. Tickets for the Orlando station will be available in just a couple of weeks in May. Brightline is expected to make 16 round trips from Orlando to Miami daily starting as early at, as 5 in the morning. Now, a number of city leaders were here today touting the opening of the station, including Orlando City Mayor Buddy Dyer and Jerry Demings. Certainly, Brightline takes cars off the road and it provides a faster, safer, greener way to travel between Orlando and South Florida. But I want to tell you, we're just getting started because our vision also includes SunRail coming to this station. The station will significantly impact our economy and how we conduct business in the region. It will be the first stop for many visiting our community and has features that will be attractive for both business and leisure travelers. Now they are currently doing test runs, running trains at 130 miles per hour from Orlando to West Palm Beach. Again, those ticket sales start in May. We're going to have a breakdown of the pricing and what they have planned for families of four, looking to make that a little more affordable. We'll have all of that this evening. For now, in Orlando, I'm Lauren Cervantes, getting results, News 6.